hi everyone good afternoon and a great big welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining um my regular disclaimer that this is an adult only coloring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children okay so i have been tagged I think, if I remember rightly, I think it was the lovely Kirsty who tagged me um, to do the desk, you know, desk tour thing. Um, so I'm going to do that for you today. As you can see, I've got a little area, if I move back a little bit, a little area set up in the, um, we call it like the tower bit of the front room. I need to be really careful not to lift the camera too high because the window here, right in front of us, that house that faces us has got the name of the street on. So I'm trying to avoid that window if I can and anything with sensitive information. Okay, so if we move over here, this is the top of the, um, the six cube storage unit. So on the top, I keep my Method Anti-Back Cleaner and this is so, so lovely. It smells of, um, it's wild rhubarb. This is fantastic. And just, oh, it smells so good. It smells really, really good. Um, I'm going to apologise now for the shaky camera and if my hands get in the way. Um, but trying to do this, you know, like just freehand without a tripod, it's a little bit tricky. So, on the top, I've got this pink um, little storage basket, and that has got all of my Arteza acrylic paint in it. And these are just the regular, the regular acrylic colours. So, that's those. And then here in behind, this bag has my Artex alcohol markers and the remainder of my Tian Hao markers as well i can't do that bag up i need a better storage solution i have seen a few things on amazon but i'm on a no buy at the moment as you know but once that is done and the rest of the kids stuff has got next week then i'm gonna sort out a better solution for the markers and then in this disney villains case i have two sets of nails i need to put those away um <clears throat> And then I have my oops, Memento. Yeah, my Memento um, inks. And these beautiful, like, they're supposed to be used for makeup, I think, but they are so soft and they work a dream with distress inks and things like that. I was really, really generously sent those. Um, now, I would normally keep those in this wooden container here um but the reason that i put the memento inks in here is because i was using them up on my art cart which is next to my bed so let's just move those nails out of the way let's move mr whoops my breaking bad mr walter white in his boiler suit <laughs> let's just move him out of the way now i'm only going to open one side of this oh, because it's it is tricky and it's it's a bit temperamental. So in here I keep my distress inks. In this one I have um, some gel pen refills there and there. Um, I have a little bit of Copic ink and my one my one stickles waterfall. I haven't used it. It's, I tried using it once and it was just a little bit difficult to squeeze um, with my hands. And this is the Paint and Glow Face Glitter, but I use these on my different pages. And then in the bottom, I have there was in one of the sets of distress inks that I received, it was a it was a two-pack, so you got like double. So there's the replacement for that. These are just some really cheap stencils that I bought when I was bullet journaling, which I think will now work well as backgrounds in um, my colouring books. And then I have some um, Crayola Pipsqueak markers, which I plan on using on the Junior channel at some point. And then... 
oh my goodness i'm so sorry oh this oh my goodness this side has the um the sponges and the applicators for the distress inks i do have one replacement um uh, like ink refill because some of the pads were completely dry i think i've got three more colors that i need to get but um i imagine one of these like little bottles would last quite a long time so the one i have so far is spun sugar um i cannot remember what is in the next bit i'm going to try and Oh. Okay, that one's empty, so there we go. Oh my gosh. I would never make a good camera woman at all. <laughs> okay, so if we move down. Oh. Um, okay, so the top two um, cubbies on the unit. This one has my Jasmine Beckett books, my Hannah Carves on and Clara Markova. And then this one has got um, Maria Trolley, Emily Lyder Holly Obag, Thomas Love Tomic, Eerie. So we have those in there. And my beautiful pop manga books. Love them, especially the new one. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay, and then the next two cubbies. This one has my disney books but the ones that are not color by number so i have those there and then the kaleidoscope there these are my old jasmine beckett grip oh my goodness jasmine beckett griffith books that i replaced recently because i screwed pages up in those big time but you know there's other pages there that that can, that can be used so i've just put those there in this one and this is all of my johanna basford books Daria Song, Fabiana Atanasio, Rita Berman, Lulu Mayo. I've got one um, Coloriage Wild. It's the first one. I've got that one. Absolutely stunning. Okay, and then down here, this is a hot glue gun that Aaron got for my birthday. I haven't used it yet, but I do intend on using it really soon on some of those wooden slices. Again, these are a couple of books that I screwed up. I have replacements for. And then in here is um, an electric. I know, I, I know. Um, an electric head lice comb hoover thing, um, which no doubt will be put to use when the kids return to school because that is just how it goes, I'm afraid. And then down here, this is a set of um, watercolours that Aaron bought me a while ago. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this. Oops, single-handed. So you open it up and then you get a few little tubes of watercolour, a, um, a brush, a pencil, sharpener, a razor, a little palette here. And mix in a little sketchbook. I thought that was a adorable really really lovely and that is so like lightweight to take with you if you're going anywhere and if you want to put your own supplies in that as well it's really useful so oh my goodness there is that okay and then if we move up over to the desk and i am gonna plonk my bottom Okay, so here I have my Carla Magana books because they are some of my absolute favourites. Oh my gosh. Um, here is a sketchbook, notebook, and this plastic wallet here is some of my original artwork. Um, just behind, I do want to show you this, I'm, this area is going to be um, changed soon, so once it's done I will give you an update. That is a beautiful, can you see that absolutely stunning watercolour painting that the beautiful May sent me, that was from 2018, I love it, absolutely love it. Um, I've said to Aaron about getting, do you know those photo frames you can get and it's got like, 
all different frames in one so some of the pictures go that way and some of them go that way I want to get one of those to put like some of the artwork that I've been sent in this is a print by Mystic Art Mirrors this one here this is an original piece of artwork by Carla Magana I'm looking for a very specific kind of frame for that one which is why it's still in the protective color um, cover on the wall at the moment that's an envelope um, that had some stickers and goodies in from Carla recently and a little Ralph there that she painted my pride and joy my Jasmine Beckett Griffith calendar I absolutely love it I'll move back a little bit there you go you can see that oh I have a Carla Magana bookmark uh, here as well and obviously an owl and there's some artwork that you have sent this beautiful one here at the top um that one there that was sent by penny that's uh, a business card of carla's and mystic Heart mirrors again mystic Heart mirrors postcards down here some pictures of me and the kids when they were little two more original artworks by carla there there. and an, another original painting there by May absolutely stunning okay so that's my wall and then here is my desk organizer so I've got my hand gel paper clips page tags corrected tape scissors all that good stuff and then I've got this really whoops this brush here um, and I got this from the pound shop I think and it is it's a makeup brush but I use it just to get rid of like pencil dust on my pages so instead of smudging the pencil dust across the page you just sort of brush it and it gets rid of it so that is really really handy this is my Crayola tips that are pretty much done this is my like my old ones um, but I'm trying to use every last little bit of ink out of them because you guys know I love my Crayola Super Tips. I love them so, so much. Um, I've got four Tombow Jewel brush markers in there from about three, four years ago that I bought when I was bullet journaling. And here is my Chromatech glitter gel pens and my Arteza retractable gel pens. So that's in my pink, pink sparkly desk, yeah, cube things. Pencil sharpener, I'll just move that cleaner out of the way. Um, and then I've got a Derwent hand crank sharpener because my swordfish broke. I was so gutted because I love that sharpener. But this one's really good. This one is really good. Um, I must admit, I think I prefer my swordfish but this is a very close second it's really good um in here in this little rose gold wire basket i have a bundle of the arteza fine liners i do have the 102 set of these yeah 102 in a tin but these are the colors that i've taken out to use in my belba family books so as you can see i've numbered them and sellotaped the numbers to them so these are all sort of bundled together with a hair bobble for when I use my Belba family books. And also in there are these gorgeous Tombow Twin Tone markers. Keep an eye out because I'm going to be using these very, very soon in one of the Lulu Mayo books. Um, and these were sent to me a while ago as a gift from a really, really beautiful friend of mine. And oh, I love them. I absolutely love them. As you can see, the colours are glorious. So we'll probably swatch those out together and then do the colouring. This is my Arteza Twi Markers. I've got the 48 set. Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. Obviously, that's a no-brainer. This is where I keep my water brushes, paint brushes, and these are silicon shapers. I think you can use them for soft pastels and things. I need to relabel the jar um, and this is just an empty um, coffee jar that was washed out and repurposed because those jars are so lovely and they're, they're great for storing supplies 
this is my owl mug and it has the um spectrum noir glitter brush pens in i think some of them are clear and then i do have a set of the um colored ones Got a little stray posca in there and some uniball signal metallic gel pens this one this hello kitty mug this just has what is left of my Sharpie Ultra Fine. There's not many, but they're they're pretty much done. They they haven't got a lot of life left in them. And these three Prisma pencils are what I'm using on some flowers in a Maria Troll book at the moment. In here are my Bic Intensity Fine and Medium water based markers. And there's a couple of Stabilo 0.88s in there as well. And then there's some random um, like Black Widow and Pablo pencils in there. I have no idea what page I was using those on, so I'm just going to put those away. This big glass container here. It's not being used at the moment, but it's so beautiful. And I, I do want to put it to some purpose. I might even put my little wooden blocks in there. I think that might be a good um storage solution for them my beautiful gram bless her heart um candle um my few washi tapes my salt lamp which i love um this is the motip clear varnish that i was looking for when i painted the wooden slice i wanted to spray it with the clear varnish and i couldn't find it well i found it so yay <laughs> Hey for that one. Okay, and then to the side here, the side area of the desk. As you can see, I've got another desk mat here. This was Tegan's, but she doesn't have a desk now because she's in a much smaller bedroom. So she's let me use this one. So this has my pencil cases along here. These beautiful double-ended fibre tip pens stat there which I plan on taking upstairs with me and putting on my art cart next to the bed because I want to be using those later um, Monster High doll this was Tegan's from years ago she's grown out of them but me yeah I know I know I'm a grown woman but I love Monster High so I do want to get some floating shelves and try and find some Monster High dolls that I can collect and have have up on um the shelves along with some Funko Pops. This is my sketchbook here. My really inexpensive sketchbook with some beautiful stickers. Um, I purchased this one from Carla. I think I purchased that one. I don't know if I purchased this one as well. I don't know. And then, bless her heart, she sent me another thing of stickers as like a, just a little gift and here's a sticker of the front cover of Eerie Patisserie, her new book. How stunning is that? And I know, I know, I'm soft but look, I've, I've even kept the, I'm not going to turn it around but I've even kept the, um, the envelope. I love it. There is some other stickers in here which I plan on putting on my other sketchbook. But yeah. I just, I, I adore Carla. I really, really do. Okay. And then my Creative Companion by Ruby Charm Colours. So that's my organiser. That stays there, again, along with my sketchbook. This is just a cable for my phone. It's like a longer cable so I can charge my phone when I'm streaming or filming. Okay, and then the first shelf here under the desk. Um, this is my Colouring Heaven magazines, Deborah Muller, I think my Mandala books here, so that is a colour year one, and then these are um, Camellia Angel Cova, um, and then I've got some other random colouring books, some Creative Haven books, and then my Kirby Rosanas, and then um, the Sweet Shop and Fantastic Zoo is down at the end. Oh, and Econico, or Econico, I, I don't know how you pronounce it. Whoops. And then down here, these are the, the huge um, Thomas Pav Pavitt books. So I have um, 
two dot to dot. So I've got the masterpieces and I don't, I don't know what the other one is. But they're like a thousand, you know, numbered zero to a thousand on each image. The Qu Animal Quackles and Secret Garden Artist Edition. Underneath, these are just photo albums. Underneath, and then this pink tub um, is what has got all of my old, old fine liners in. My Statler Tri Plus Colour, my Stabilo 0.88. A lot of them are probably dried up and no good. I need to go through it. That is absolutely full. They are the wood slices and this starry pencil case here that holds my spare poskas my spare fine tip poskas so when my others run out i've got you know i've got a couple in here and then if i just whoops try and move the tripod a little bit i don't know if it's going to work um let me see if i can collapse this and get it out of the way a minute okay oh my gosh okay so on this shelf i have um some of my korean books back there i have the um momo gao gals of poem and my two forest gal books and then all of my jade summer books my sudden life drawing books that are not um color by number um, my Mr. Cart Mirrors books, a couple of Misfits, Hannah Lynn, and then again some other books there. And then down the bottom, I just move my leg out of the way. So these are PDF files. The Spiral Bound is the Ticket to Dreams book. That owl pencil case. I think that has my Crayola coloured pencils in it. My, that is the tin of my um, Arteza Inconic. The pink box of the rose gold spots. That has my metallic acrylic paint. And then there's a couple of books down here that I have completed. And then there is Serene and um, Disney Vitro. Because they're big books. They don't fit on my shelves really anywhere else. So let me just get up, <clears throat> push the push the chair in. Okay. So here I need to be really careful with the windows. There's my light box and my tripod in the corner. This is just a little old stand I have with my printer, and then just underneath, um, in the um, like pocket plastic pocket pouch that's cardstock for printing and then this and over here is when I made a mistake it's A5 white card instead of A4 that was my mistake okay and then we move on to my art cart so on the top shelf here this is all of my colour by number books um and you will see my Disney colour by number books there as well. I've got Sun Life Drawing, um, Disney, some of the, the beautiful colour by numbers. I think that they are the ones that are compiled by Felicity James, if I remember rightly. Um, yeah, Colour Questopia, a couple of... Um, Oh my goodness, um, Belba family. And then this is my case with my Arteza Everblend markers in. This is the 60 set. A lot of these are running out, so I'm not going to get an awful lot more use out of those. Um, I do plan on replacing them at some point, but it's not a necessity right now. And then on the middle shelf, please excuse the scribbles on the wall, because when we moved in... Um, Emmy was really little and she, yeah, she decorated the walls. Um, so let me just get a little bit closer. Okay. And so I've got my Ganzai Tambi pearl colours, starry colours and gem colours. So that's those. Um, a spare 
toilet roll to use when I'm like blotting, like, you know, paint brushes and stuff. A palette. Um, these are the Arteza real brush pens. And in there is this little set of um, KJ Design by Karen from Etsy. I can't open that with one hand. These are like some of her handmade watercolours. So that's the colours that I have. Absolutely beautiful. I do plan on getting some more because she's got such gorgeous colours. So that's those. That's my glass dip pen. 120 Arteza watercolour pencils. This is the really, really inexpensive uh, watercolour palette that I mentioned in my completed pages video. Um, it's, it says Creative Peak on it. Um, these are from Amazon quite some time ago and I think they were about £12. Got some really really lovely colours in there, so that's those. Whoops. Okay. <clears throat> and then here we have the Windsor and Newton Gold Drawing Ink, and then I have some. De La Rowney Pearlescent Liquid Acrylic. I thought these would work with my glass dip pen. They don't. <laughs> um, and the Chromatec brush pens, watercolour brush pens as well. And then down here on the bottom shelf, all right, um, this is my diamond painting um, bits and pieces and two paint sets there for a paint by number. And then finally, um, we have this, whoops, plastic set of drawers. I'm kicking over the bin. So in these, in the top drawer, I just have um, an empty pencil case, some wet wipes, owl stickies, double-sided sticky tape, um, derwent line painters, all that good stuff. This one... In this pencil case, this has my, what is left of my Sharpies. I sorted them out, um, oh my goodness, last week I think. And so many of them were dry, I don't know if you can see in there. So yeah, a lot of them were, a lot of them were no good. But um, I'll just leave that there. So we've sorted that out. And then in here, until I sort out some marker storage, like I was mentioning earlier, I have my Arteza Everblend, the Skin Tone Set and the Grey Set. And then I have some Chalkola paint, um, you know, chalk markers. So I have a white and then a box of different colours there. And then these are the Spectrum Noirs. This one, this one and that one all came in a set of pastels and then these are my my little collection of skin tone copics but quite a few of them are duplicates but they're lovely really really beautiful um let's put the sharpies back in Ooh. okay maybe not we'll sort that out then. <laughs> this one um in this gold pencil case, that is my um, Derwent Colour Soft. I needed to get a pencil case for those because I do have quite a lot of duplicates as well. So a 72 case isn't enough. Um, I've got my Crayola Signature Tricolour Pencils. This case is what Tegan gave me and it's got the... Spectrum Noir Colorista markers in, but they, they run out so quick. Um, yeah, I mean, they're great value for money, but they, they don't last long at all. In here, in this little Charles pencil case. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have some just random regular Arteza gel pens 
and our Tasa woodless pencils. And then this pencil case here has my spare polychromos and prism colours. Um, but I have gifted quite a lot of them to people who don't have them or who have wanted to try them. So I've gone through them and um, yeah, I've gifted quite a lot of those. And then, whoops, I'm sorry, you're seeing all the clutter over there that I haven't quite tidied up just yet. Um, and then this bottom drawer is just, um, these are inserts for the blue star pencil case that has my, um, oh, my Posca's in it. That's a little seizure journal that I set up for Aaron, but it's just not, it doesn't really work too well. My first ever bullet journal, an old controller that I want to paint and do like a design on, um, a book and some, yeah, some blank notebooks, little, these little wooden things. I need to find some little hooks to hang them up, these beautiful little hearts that I've that I've got. This one was sent from my beautiful friend Paula. It's gorgeous. Really, really lovely. Um, but like I said, I've put them in the drawer safe because I don't want them getting damaged when I start moving bits and pieces around. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, that's it for like downstairs. I do have one of these art carts up next to the bed, which is rose gold, but it doesn't have hardly anything on it at the moment because all the books that I had been working on um, in August that I had worked on sort of, you know, when I've been in bed and whatnot, um, they're all downstairs now along with the majority of the supplies. Um, I think when things get jiggled around, that cart will come down as well because I'm a little bit low on storage. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> my little my little work area. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this tag of my work area tour thank you so much to Kirsty who tagged me i do believe it was Kirsty. if it wasn't i'm so so sorry um i don't know who to tag because so many people have done this um so i'm just gonna uh, yeah it's a bit of a cop out but i'm gonna just tag um anyone who wants to participate and share their work area tour with us i would love it i would absolutely love it so if you haven't already and you want to share it with us then please do thank you for joining everyone take care stay safe and i'll see you soon